Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create a fine green password policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. You could only have one password policy and account lockout policy per domain. However, there are times when you need a group of users to have a different password policy. This is because it is best practice to enforce strong password policies to privilege accounts in the domain. For example, employees in the finance department may need a stronger password policy and account lockout policy than employees in the production department. Similarly, the manager of the department may need a different account lockout policy than other subordinates. Fine green password policy allows us to set different password policies and account lockout policies for a different set of users in the Active Directory domain. This enables far greater security than the default domain group policy, which enforces a single password policy for all domain members. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msfdwebcast.com domain. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. To enable fine green password policy, you first create a password setting object also known as PSO. You then configure the same settings that you configure for the password and account lockout policies in default domain GPO. You can create and apply PSOs by using the Active Directory Administrative Center or Windows PowerShell. Launch Active Directory Administrative Center from the Server Manager's Tool Menu. For this example, I have created one OU named MSFT Admins. Under this OU, I have created one security global group named MSFT Admins. This user is member of this security group named MSFT Admins. Again, click on your domain name. Double click on System. Under System, double click on Password Settings Container to open it. This list is empty because till now we haven't created any PSO in our Active Directory. If you have already created Password Settings object, the existing PSOs will be listed here. Choose New, select Password Settings on the right side. Let me maximize it. The configuration interface will be launched. Now we can configure the policy settings and apply it to a specific user or a group. We have the same password policy settings as we do in the default domain password policy. In this example, we want to set a stronger password for our server administrators. Give it a decent name that reflects the group or individual that this policy will apply to. I have given name server admin PSO to this password policy. Don't forget to set precedence value to 1 which is the highest value that takes precedence over all other settings. Precedence represents the priority when multiple policies applied to a single user, policy with the lowest precedence integer value will apply. Next, change the minimum password length. In this example, I want to set this minimum password length to 14 characters. Next, we have Enforce Password History. Enforce Password History setting defines how many unique passwords must be used before an old password can be reused. The default setting is 24 and I'm going to change this value to 50. The password must meet complexity requirements is already selected. We will keep that option selected. Next, move to password age options. Maximum password age defines how long in days a password can be used before it needs to be changed. The default setting says 42 days. So at every 42 days, the user's password is going to expire automatically. In this example, I'm going to set this value to 15. This means at every 15 days, user has to change his or her Active Directory password. Clicking on this checkbox, 
will allows you to configure account lockout settings. Using this, we can configure how many times can the user enter the incorrect password before the account is locked out and how long should they be locked out for. Type value for number of field login attempts allowed. Set this value to 3. If user enter 3 incorrect passwords within 30 minutes, the account will be locked out for 30 minutes. Let me remind you that I am creating this password settings object just for testing purpose in my test environment. You can change these settings as per your organization's requirement. We can either link the PSO to users and global groups during the creation process or return to the PSO and select additional users and global groups in the future. To apply the PSO, select Add in the Directly Applies to box and browse to the chosen users or groups. For this demo, we have already created one global security group named MSFT admins in our Active directory. Type MSFT and click on check names. We can see MSFT admins group name is populated automatically. Click OK to add this group. Under directly applies to, we can confirm that our security group has been added successfully. Click on OK to create a PSO with configured settings. That's it. We can see the server admin PSO is listed under password settings container. This way, we can assign certain password policies to users without building complicated GPUs and OU structures. Once you complete the policy, instantly you can try changing the password to see the result. Click on MSFT Admins OU. Click on the user account named Manhar Rakhulia. Click on Reset Password. Open Run menu. Type sample password India at 2024. This password has 10 characters and matches the password complexity requirements. Let's copy the password. We will be setting up this password for selected user account. Paste the copied password in Password and Confirm Password boxes. Click OK to reset the current user password and assign the specified password. We will receive an error stating failed to reset the password of selected user. The password does not meet the length, complexity or history requirement. Click OK. Go to run again and type password India at 2001-2024. Let's copy this password. Try resetting the user password again with this password. Let me paste a new password. Let me again paste the new password in confirm password box. Click OK to reset the current user password. As we can see, this time the user's password was successfully reset as the PSO password requirement was met by that password. You can also check the account lockout policy on the client computer while the user is logged on. To view a group's password requirements, browse to the group, right click the group name and select properties. Choose the password settings button to view which PSO is currently applying to the security group. Under directly associated password settings, we can see the name of the PSO which we have linked to the security group. Keep in mind that fine grain password policy will take precedence over account password and lockout policy which you can configure using the group policy. In this video, we have learned how to create a fine grain password policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.